Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Michael Mel with Entrepreneur Freedom where I show you great ideas and great tools to grow your online business or to even start one. So in today's video that was requested by one of my followers is how do you take RSS feeds and trans basically transcribe them and put an image on them and put them onto your social media. So in today's video, we're gonna build that automation out. Again, this will allow you to take RSS feeds and take that information and turn it into content with the image, okay? And we're gonna use Instagram with that today. So this will be a very simple build. Anybody experienced can probably do this in about 10 to 15 minutes. Somebody who does not have experience, it may take 20 to 25 minutes, okay? So the tools that you're going to need to build this out is our RSS feed. So you're going to look for feed or website that you wanna use and make sure they have an RSS feed. Okay, second, you're gonna need an Instagram business account. You're gonna need an OpenAI key code and you're gonna need Boostspace or make.com to build this automation out, okay? So let's jump right into this and let's build out this automation. Okay, so we're gonna go over here and we're gonna to go to organizations and we're gonna go create one from scratch, okay? The first module you're gonna need is RSS feed, okay? You can type that in the button right here and it'll bring it up. And what we need is retrieve RSS feed item. So you can click on that. That's what you're going to choose. Right here is where you're going to place your RSS feed. Okay. So basically when you're doing this, like I said in most of my videos, make sure you're prepared when you're build, building all this out so you have everything. So I have a RSS feed. I'm going to put it in here and just paste it in there. And when you're looking at RSS feed, make sure it has RSS at the end. Okay. Second thing you're going to need is you're going to need how many you wanted to retrieve, how much, how much, um, basically items you wanted to retrieve. I'm only going to want it to retrieve one at a time. Okay. So after you get done with that, hit okay. Let's hit save. And then we're going to hit run. Okay. And we're going to check it's, it did pull it up. As you can see the data that we want from this RSS feed. Okay. The second module, <clears throat> excuse me. The second module you're going to need is a HTTP. So we're going to go here, type in HTTP. And then what we want here is we want it to say get file. That's what we want. Okay. And then right here is where we are going to get the information from the RSS feed. So we want to make sure that we are linking it up. So what you want to do is you want to go up here and you want to get the URL right here. And as you can tell, it's blinking. Okay. And you put that right there. So you're going to hit OK. You're going to hit save. And you're going to run it again. Now this is the, again, this is a simple, easy build. Okay. So you can click on it to make sure it's running right. The data is there. There's your URL. Okay. The second module, excuse me, <coughs> excuse me. Second module is you need text. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to go in here, you're going to type text and you are going to, oops, let me go back. I typed it wrong. Here you go. You're going to need this one text text. And then what you're looking for is you were looking for HTMP to text. Okay. You wanted to convert it over. Okay. Simple and easy. <coughs> Excuse me. Is that, and then what you need to do is you need to click on this and you need to go to HTTP here and you need to get the data from here to here. And all you do is hit okay, hit save, hit save either way, run it again. Don't worry about the errors. It's going to pick up the data. It's just basically converting it over the text. It's going to have that little error. So don't worry about it. It's still grab it. You see it turn green. Simple and easy as that. Okay. So the next module we need, this is going to be the one that's going to have a lot of stuff you got to add to it. Simple as that, which is your chat GBT. So we're going to go here and then we want to one we want is create a basically create a prompt. Now, when you're building this out, create a prompt, put it and have that ready as well. It makes it a lot easier to build out these models. I mean, sorry, these automations, okay? So just waiting for it to um, come up. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna choose a model. I'm going to use 4.0, I like that one. And then I'm gonna change the tokens to a thousand. You can choose how many tokens you want, it's up to you. Okay, it's simple as that. If you see my videos, I use between a thousand to two thousand. I mean, sorry, between five hundred and two thousand. It's really, I think it depends. I'm not sure. I could be wrong. Um, I think it depends on how, like, how thorough the content's going to be. Then you know, and all that. Since I'm only using a certain amount of content uh, characters, um, 
it, I only use like a thousand. Okay, so the next, the next sex, I'm sorry, next thing you're gonna do is head, you know, I'm gonna message and hit messages, and you're gonna hit um, systems. Um, don't get confused. Um, they just, uh, I think it was last week, they updated this to develop a slash system. So just choose systems. And then right here is where you're gonna put your first prompt. It could be whatever size prompt you want. I use a simple one for the first one is just basically telling it it's an expert and specialist and all that good stuff. Okay. Then what you're going to do is go down here and you're going to add a net, uh, going to add message to, and you're going to add user. Okay. And then right here is where you're going to put your big prompt. Again, write out your prompts, have them ready. It's easy to do it that way because you are going to be building that out and you want to be prepared. Okay. So put your second prompt in here. And then what I like to do, as you guys know, I like to separate the, the commands I'm giving it. So like I'm using you 200 characters and, sh and I give it, you know, make sure that it understands that that's what I usually put. I already separate to make it nice and clean. Okay. So I hit enter here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get some information from here. So what we're going to do is we're going to add, make sure that the text is going to here. So we're going to go up here and click on text and that's what it looks like. Okay. Simple as that. Not very difficult, not very hard. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. Make sure I got my, okay, I got that. Hit okay. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna save it and then you're gonna run it again. We wanna see the flow go through. We wanna make sure these are all green. Simple, see how easy that was? Very easy. Again, this is not a hard build. Okay, so the next one we need is we're gonna need an image one. Okay, so we're gonna add another um, chat GPT. Okay, we're gonna click on that. And then what we're looking for here is create Gen, uh, sorry, generate an image, okay? And we're gonna wait till it opens up. Then you're gonna choose your model. There's only two of them, Del E3, Del E2. Del E3 is the good one. And then you're gonna put your prompt in here, okay? So I would suggest that if you're gonna write this, I can put the link at the bottom. There's a really good website uh, that you can use to create prompts for your images. You can choose how you want it and it'll, it'll generate the prompts for you. Okay, so I will put the link on that. It's I think it's still available. It's been a while since I've used it. So, um, but I will check out. If it is, I will have the link where you can create some really good um, prompts to generate images, okay? So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna click on that. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then we're going to grab results from your chat GBT, okay? Which is the first one. We wanna grab the results right here, okay? You wanna make sure that's right there. Simple, make sure it's clean, make sure it's easy. Okay, all right, hit okay. All right, then you're gonna hit save. And then you're gonna run it again. If you have, if you do do, if you have um, Boost Space um, free account or make free account, just remember that when you're building these automations, you are gonna to have to test them so it's gonna use some of your operations, okay? So that turn, just let you know. So that turned all green, so that's good. And the last one we're gonna need is, you're going to need your Instagram. Now, again, if you see my videos, um, last couple of videos, we had to reactivate um, our Instagram uh, account. So we're going to go in here, click on that, and we're going to look uh, look for Instagram, which I've used already. Again, you need an Instagram business account. So what you're going to do, you're looking for here is you're looking for Instagram. Uh, you're going to create a um, picture post. Okay. All right. So. Again, we may have to reactivate our Instagram account. Let's see. Yes, this comes up. That means you're going to have to reactivate. So what you're going to do is click on add. You're going to click on um, show advanced settings and you're going to add your um, ID and you're going to add your secret code. Okay, hit save. It's going to open a window on the side and you're going to basically reconnect your account. Very simple and easy. Now I know that before if you, um, that sometimes it shows a black screen. So just basically go in here, click this and refresh, and then you can start over again. Okay. Once it's connected, you can go down here and you can click on your um, page that you want to post it to. Okay. Let's wait. There we go. Okay. So now this is where we're going to put some information in. You're going to go up here and you're going to go up to the first um, this one right here, you see it blinking, right? We're going to get some information. So you want to click on that and, oops, sorry. You want to click on this. Hit escape. Is that kind of foolish? Okay. All right, let's go back in here. All right. All right, let me do that again. That's weird. That's kind of funny. Hmm. Very strange. Okay.
Let's see if it's all right. I have to reconnect it again. See, it happens. Nothing happens perfect when you're doing the video. Okay, hit save. Okay, reconnecting my account. All right, let's go, let's go. All right. <clears throat> All right, so we're gonna choose the page that we want. There we go. And then right here, we're gonna get the data from here. So we're gonna click on that. And we're gonna drop down menu. We wanna do data, I'm sorry, details and then URL. That's what we want right here, okay? And then you're gonna go down here, <clears throat> excuse me, to captures. And you're gonna add, you're gonna go here and you're gonna add results. So the first, the chat GP that, that creates the image, you want to put that in the photo URL. The, um, the capture is what it what the second chat GPT wrote. Okay, that's what you want to put in there. Okay, simple as that. So what you're going to do is you're basically going to hit OK. You're going to hit save. And then we're going to run it again. Now when you run it again, it's going to actually run the whole entire process and we're going to see. So what it's going to do is it's going to post onto it should post to your social media without any issues okay so all right let's run it again this is a very simple build it's very simple and it's good because if you want to create some fresh content for your website i'm sorry for your website for your, your social media you can and if you have the ability to um connect more you can you can put a router in here and you can connect more social medias okay so you can you don't just have to use instagram as you notice i use a lot of instagram in my videos um i do that because i'm building these auto uh, automations for my instagram and i want to share that with you guys plus this was a requested one because the gentleman you like wants to get new content so you can see that it all turned green so what we're going to do is we're going to go to our um, social media. We're going to refresh it. And you can see it, it, it. here's the new content. Okay. Now I have to work on my prompt. As you can see, it didn't do the best, but it did write, the, it did write a good um, post. So I have to create a prompt in here to make this better without having words. Okay. So that's about it, people. It's simple and easy to build this out. Again, you might want to work on your prompts when it comes to generating images, or you might even want to connect Flex. If you've seen, uh, if you want me to do a video on how to connect Flex to your RSS feed, comment at the bottom of the video. It, it will be very simple and easy to build out. I do a lot of requests lately, and that's how I'm able to do a lot of these automations because people are asking me to build out certain kind of automations. Again, this was from a gentleman from Indonesia and he wanted to know how to do this. So here you go. So I get to share this with my uh, lovely um, YouTube channel. So if you like this and you want to see more content like this, please subscribe to the channel. And if you have any comments about this, please make put the comments in the bottom of the video. Again, this is Michael Mail with Entrepreneur Freedom. Thank you for watching my video and I will see you in the next one and you have a great day. Bye.